Aries. Okay, this is your weekly um, tarot message, right? From Born Without Boundaries. I'm Michelle. Thank you so much for finding the channel. Um, if you love it and you really like it, please like the video and then share it to your social media platforms, but also subscribe. If when we get into the reading, you really like it, remember to subscribe and ring that bell. Hit all notifications, Aries. I upload your content every single Thursday along with Taurus and Gemini. Aries, this is your um, weekly tarot card reading. Now it's Oracle and tarot, but it's also a timeless message. You can, you can look through my Aries playlist. There's so many messages. If something calls to you, go ahead and watch it because it's for you. Things come to you at the right time. Okay, the first card's out, still here. I'm in a new environment, you'll see. I'm, I'm visiting my son, so this is not my normal backdrop, <laughs> FYI. Illusion. Now, illusion is beautiful. It's sensual and it's fun. Let's, let's just, I mean, let's just get straight out, man. All of those things we can be really attracted to and drawn to. But right now, this card, first card out, it's saying, Aries, you've allowed yourself to get caught up in illusions. It's time to get out of those illusions. It doesn't mean you've gone too far. It just means now it's time to come back. That's what it means. Embrace the truth. What is the truth? It may be ugly. Usually, when we get lost in our own illusions, it's because we've wanted to escape some sort of truth that we didn't want to face. Well, now is the time to face it because it's a really beautiful time of ingenuity and innovation and great ideas and meeting new people. So that means that as much of a hurt as it may be to suffer through this truth, you're not going to be stuck in it for long. There will be other options, alternatives presented to you ASAP. So that's why this is the time, man. Look at this truth, come out of the illusion and be like, all right, I may just have to hanker down. This is a great time to, to start new energy because whatever you start now will come to full fruition. So know that. Face your fears. Holy shit. The fact that these two cards came out, this is it. Like this is the beginning. This is just the beginning of your reading. Release the power of fear. What are you afraid of? There's a lot of things that you're running from, a lot of things that you're chasing right now. They're based on illusion because you're not facing fear. Face those fears. Whatever you're afraid of, this is what's gonna take the balls, right? This is what's gonna take the confrontation. This is where your this is where your battle is truly living right now, is your own fear. Your own fear of what? If it's not working out, you'll get another option. You'll find something that is, or maybe just fear of stagnation, of staying still too long, of getting bored. That could be a fear too. Sometimes we gotta just kinda like hanker through, right? And be like, okay. Now, another card just popped out that I know that you're gonna really, really love, okay? Because it's almost like this big old breakthrough happening for you to help you out. I will rejoice. You're actually going to be happy when you face your fears. You're actually going to be happy when you stop chasing your tail or trying to escape into illusion. You don't actually want to do those things because for you, that's fucking retreat and you don't like to retreat. You're going to be back full steam ahead. You're going to feel so good about yourself once you are able to um, just confront this shit 100% some good news, some happy shit is coming through. It may seem disappointing, but it's not disappointing. It is almost like you've been pretending for a while. It's almost like, and I'm not saying this is gonna happen to you, but you ever like been dating somebody and you're just like not thrilled with them, but you're, it, you're just intent on making it work and then they break up with you. And it's like, you should be pissed, but you won't be. You won't be, you'll be like, you'll immediately see like, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I understand. Yeah, no, I know you gotta leave. That's, I'm, it's, you know, I can feel it. Yeah, it's, I'm fine. I'm doing fine. It's almost like you're doing real fine. You know what it's like? It's like you get the bad news that's good news. It's like, it's like getting laid off a job you hated. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, I got six months severance. <laughs> oh, shit. That kind of energy, right? It's not necessarily bad news. It breaks through the illusion. It's like makes you face your fear. And it's like, oh, thank God. This is what I've been wanting, but didn't know how to give myself. 
Bada bing, bada boom, baby. I am authentic. You can get back to your true self. Oh, isn't that a good feeling, right? How You rule the house, the first house of self, right? The sense of getting back to your truth, who you really are. Stop pretending you don't have to dull yourself. You don't have to dim yourself. You don't have to dull your shine. You do belong somewhere. And I know that that human need for belonging is really intense. And when you are an intense person, and Aries, you are an intense person, when you are an intense person, it's harder to find a place where you really fit in. But guess what? You can do it, boo. Everybody has a try, okay? And it's almost like now, you it's almost like you were settling because you felt like, I, I don't have a try. I'll never find my try. It'll never happen because there's nobody like me. You know, believe me, there is somebody like you. There's a tribe for you. You gotta keep being you and vibrating at your most harmonious. And believe me, you will call to them and they will call back to you. This is help kind of like resetting you back on the track that you really wanted to go. Hold on. I know, I'm still here guys. I've just been dropping all these cards. All right, sacrifice is the first thing. Sacrifice what? We're gonna find that out. There's always an extended reading, FYI, to continue this message and dig deep into specifics with tarot. And it's a two readings in one, so your romance reading is in that same video. So uh, the link is always below, FYI. Um, sacrifice, what are you giving up? What are you sacrificing? What are you sacrificing for more happiness? Were you trying to sacrifice something? Like, were you willing to sac? I think you were willing to sacrifice your happiness for just mediocrity and contentment. Think about that. You were about to do it. Sacral chakra, this is finding your energy again, your energy pump. It's like you're pumped and it's like, it's like you're about to just burst through, right? And then passion ignited. It's like you're finding, it's like being reminded of who you really fucking are just at the time when you were about to settle. You know, you can almost feel it, man. It's like kind of sort of like, oh, look, they offered me an engagement ring. Mm. If that's how you feel <laughs> when somebody offers you an engagement ring, you can't go through with the marriage. You know what I'm saying? And, I don't, and I'm not saying it's anything about romance at all. That's just a metaphor for what I'm talking about. Like that's this energy right now, this sense of if it's, if it's offered to you and you're like, hey, come on, man, that's not yours. It's not yours and you know it. And this is getting back to your authenticity, something coming through a breakthrough. I'm gonna get into, I want specifics as to what this something is but it's like something showing you or reminding you what it, what your real heart wants, right? Stand your ground, don't give up. Something that refuels your energy to be exactly who you wanna be. This is also the warrior in you coming out because you are a fucking warrior. You fight and that's who you are and stand your ground and don't back, back out and don't wimp out. And remember, remind people who the fuck you are. The universe needs you guys. They need you, boo. The universe is helping you right now to remember who the fuck you are. And I do, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna channel it. There also, there's a breakthrough coming for you to remind you who the fuck you are. To re-steer you because you were definitely destined to be something. And I, I think in a lot of ways you, you can forget that. Oh, I hate this. Cards flying all over the place. A new romantic cycle begins. What? See, okay. You put this way out of your head. You tried to forget about it. You'd be like, fuck romance. This is also Libra energy, so it could very well be a complete opposite from you. But it's somebody who balances you. Aries, you put this away, this concept, this idea of romance, or even just something that you were romancing, like an ideal. It doesn't have to be like love and sensuality. It could just be um, you You thought what, whatever it was that you were idealizing, oh, I'm putting it away, I'm giving up on it. It was in the past. It's like, it's like it's coming back. It's like you're a kid again. There's all this enthusiasm, it's back and it's returning. Oh shit, 
And then you also have a win-win. This is major Libra energy, really recalibrating and rebalancing you, um, getting back to your truth and also like harm, harmonizing, also partnership. I'm not even gonna, like with double, are you kidding me? Ugh, full moon, new moon, Aries. This is hardcore partnership coming back into your life. Like uh, um, nothing will come of this situation. So, okay, stop, 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 stop. This, there was a dead stop here. There was a dead halt. There was a literal, no, you're out in this situation. A fucking dead halt. And then guess what? If you kept working and you kept striving and you kept insisting, bam. No, there isn't. Oh, my hard work is paying off. Your hard work is paying off in a situation where you had to suffer a dead stop. Maybe you were intentionally redirected. You want to know why? Because the universe wanted you to learn a little bit something different. But it didn't actually ever want you to um, completely go away from that original. It just needed to get you away from there enough to learn this other lesson and now it's bringing you back. Your hard work is paying off, man. You are good enough. In other words, people realize it. They see it deep down inside. You realize it and see it. You know it. You you know that you're good enough. Something's gonna happen for you to, you to realize that something you thought was totally denied to you, it's back. You know that you belong. You know exactly where you belong. Um, it's the clarity, sorry, all this craziness, I apologize. It's the clarity that matters now. It's the clarity of the inspiration. It may not even be a contract. It's just you, oh no, I need to be there. And holy shit, are you gonna get yourself there? I'm telling you, it's written in the stars. You knew what you wanted to be from maybe the time that you were very young, you were certain of something. And then you let yourself get uncertain because everybody else was around you didn't have the certainty and because you were being discouraged from being that certain because everybody else around you was wishy-washy and we just want to fit in. Don't dim to fit in, boo. Don't dim to fit in. Do not. Continue to stand out. Your shine is coming back, right? Being around people who celebrate you you know that you wanted this. This is something that you've coveted for a long time. And you're not gonna be able to let this go. You, you really haven't let it go. You still look for it and it makes your heart burst every time. So don't focus on anything else and you're gonna get it because that's what Aries do. Um, celebration, happiness, have fun. It, it's almost like this is the block this is why you've been miserable because you lost your true self. You lost your direction. You've allowed everybody around you to suppress everything about you. And once you let this break through again, you're going to find that self that you love again, right? Stop dimming to fit in. Somebody's like help is on the way to remind you just who the fuck you are. Maybe you're traveling, maybe you're flying, maybe somebody's just the wind beneath your wings. Remind you who the fuck you fucking are. This is you back, you're back. Um, and it's happiness, it's joy, it's enjoyment. It's, uh, it's just, it's just, it's enjoyment again. Um, it's got to do with like spreading your wings and flying. So beautiful, inspired warrior. That's your card. That's the Aries card. You're back. Return of the Aries. You're back. Getting rid of all that negative stuff. All that, all that stuff that was like, it's like you're fighting all that stupid shit that somehow you convinced yourself to believe. That's what you're fighting. You're fighting yourself to get rid of the garbage that's making you like, like be this meek thing. You're not meek, you're an Aries. For God's sake, there's nothing meek about you. Boo, come on, man. This is your warrior returning. You're done with the meek shit. Your tire, your tiger is back and your drive is back. Why? Because you're so close to getting what you want and remembering who the fuck you are. Self-worth, struggling. Struggling with your self-worth because in so many ways you do not fit in. And this, that's what it all boils down to right now is your self-worth was what compromised your dreams. Don't. But you're getting the assist. 
you're getting the assist from the universe because the universe knows that you need it. It knows that you're, 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 it understands it. It understands, ooh, there's money coming in. Uh, the tower is here. Um, something that was very difficult to overcome. So there's finances here. Maybe you've had financial difficulties or struggles um, what, or whatever kind of struggles. Something seemed isolated, something seemed distant, something seemed, or you were keeping, it was keeping you separate. Could have been financial issues, keeping you separate, or always felt like finances eluded you, um, uh, or just an authority figure in finance, a man, a, a man, somebody who has a lot of money, um, somebody who's an authority figure in finance, helping you to make a breakthrough, a big financial breakthrough, becoming an authority in finance, if you are a man. Um, um, and then this is uh, moon, uh, your spirituality, your sense of spirituality and birds, uh, a, a spiritual group of people, people who renew your faith, believe in you, people who uh, inspire you, right? Um, also emotional, uh, emotional about a group, an emotional group, um, some sort of, um, um, it, it could be a, a group inspires these emotions in you, right? That, that it could be a group suddenly inspiring these emotions in you chatter or talk that bring up these emotions, inspire you again. Um, um, an opportunity that you didn't think that you get all of those possibilities. Um, yeah. Okay. Ooh, this is a lot. This is a huge opportunity coming through for you. In other words, people will be talking about this. People will be chatting about you or you'll be able to like, yeah, yeah, you'll be able to talk about it. Um, 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 they didn't know that you had this potential. Suddenly there's a buzz around you, a new life. Awakening to the new you, a new life, a breakthrough. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. It's like you've been in slumber. Come back to the edge. Oh, shit. Come back to the edge. You got your edge back, Aries. You got your edge back. Oh, go the distance. Oh, the whole way now. It's like you got your edge back. You're not scared anymore. You're not taking the safety route out. Oh, no, no, no. Treasure Island, you just found everything you ever desired. And in exchanging gifts, this is some sort of exchange. This is some sort of you do get tit for tat. It's like it's like some you inspired somebody and somebody it inspires you and helps you out, right? And that's totally cool, man. This is this is fucking incredible energy. I really want to know specifics and details. Hold on, hold on. This is the dream card. Another moon card. So once again, this is about your emotions. It's got to do with your emotions. Something was clogged. Something was was blocked up, and it's it's almost like you want disobedience. You want to sneak something in. You're you're tired of doing what everybody tells you. It's been building up. Don't do what everybody tells you. Don't do it. It's been building up, and you're about to erupt. Oh shit! Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for the tarot reading because this is Aqua Aura, Kyanite. Make time for self care. Okay, you need a little bit of that. Um, taking care of yourself is essential right now. Fuck everybody else. Fluorite, natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself. This can't get more clear. As God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. And that is true for Aries. Naturally attractive. Um, Unikite, answered prayers. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. I'm getting chills. I'm getting fucking chills. Aqua Aura, healthy communication in relationships, heart to heart discussions and clear assertive communication help you understand and be understood. This is not just, it's all relationships. So, oh, you're gonna get a chance. You to speak your truth. Speak your truth. Don't use no swear words, but speak your in truth to this person. The authenticity is going to win your day. Amber, give it to God. Take a deep breath and on the exhale, release this situation to God for healing and answers. Just give it over to God. Aries, it's already in God's hands. 
God's already sort of like taken this over for you because it kind of knew. And listen, this, this comes to me again, passion ignited. Oh, your passion is back. Your breakthrough is back. Let's see what animal totems are coming. These are important. Let me tell you why. Because the spiritual world has very limited ways to communicate. It communicates through our heart. But in terms of like tangible things, it uses animals because they're so much more in tune with spirit. It uses animals to communicate with us. And so these totems are coming to you. It's the way the spiritual world is, is, is talking to you right now. It's what it needs to communicate to you. So when you see these animal totems, they don't have to be the real animal. It could be in a picture. It could be in uh, whatever, right? Pay attention. You gotta pay real close attention when you see these animal totems come into your life right now. Not only to the animal totem, the message of the animal totem, but also what's going on around you when you see this animal, when it comes into your life. What's going on around you? What's happening? Pay close attention. Okay. Oh. Okay. There is always enough. Holy shit. This is koi fish. When koi, this is Pisces energy. When we keep getting the moon, the moon, the moon. There is a new moon in Taurus coming up on the 11th. I kid you not. You need to make your manifestations with your true heart. And what you put into stone, what you put out to the universe then will come to you. What do you really want intuitively? This is also coming to you mysteriously, kind of like it seems out of the blue, but it's not. You manifested this. So there is always enough means that there's enough to go around. There is still room for you. You have not been left out. You are being provided for. Now, when you see this energy, when you see these fish, koi fish, whatever it is, please know what your heart is saying because it is directly connected to what are your emotions right now? You ever been in that situation where all of a sudden something strikes feelings in you that you didn't think you had anymore and it's like liberating. That's what's gonna happen. Let's get your angel messages, two, 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 two. All of this, all of this, there's, all of this is being cons conspiring in your favor for this breakthrough, Aries. Angel messages, vision. A positive outcome requires a positive vision. Visualize everyone involved in your present situation surrounded by light and love. Make sure to include yourself also. Your love has the power to influence and transform the current events. Now this is love for something, what you're really in love with, what you're right for. And then we have uh, Blue Angel. Whoa, that is no fucking joke, Aries. Archangel Michael, I, Archangel Michael, am here by your side. I am all around you and will forever protect you. Remember this, whenever you feel fearful, I love you, all is well. Blue angels are also an elite, elite um, a Navy group of pilots. In other words, this is something really elite. Remember I tell you where you were finding your tribe? It's almost like your, your tribe is more obscure than you thought. And that's why you thought they didn't exist, but they do exist and they want you. Sacred knowledge, close your eyes and focus on your breath. Feel the peace within. Beyond your thoughts lies your eternal truth. The I am presence of eternal love. Oh, I can't wait. Let's go to tarot. Let's go. The link is below. I'll see you guys over there.